right? First all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kodash. Double honours to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutes to Yoakim teaching his word to the hopeful elect. Right, this video I'm going to be speaking about the end of America, all right? Now you've got this image, America will soon be destroyed by fire, all right? That's according to Bible prophecy, all right? So I'm going to get some scriptures, all right, and speak about that because, you know, America is that's that wicked uh, place of, of confusion, okay? The the place that is is proud and... and is an enemy unto the Lord, okay? An enemy unto righteousness. And on that missile, you can see it says USSR, okay? Because, you know, Russia is going to be a vote, uh, heavy, heavily involved, right? Mainly spearheading, you know, they're, they're like the top superpower that's going to go up head to head against America, okay, in these last days, all right? With their nuclear missiles, their capability, all right, they're going to be using their missiles to bring an end to America, okay, according to Bible prophecy, all right, and which is the divine judgment from the Heavenly Father, right, and his son Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right, because of the wickedness that America uh, uh, forwards in the earth and has been nothing but a wicked, uh, oppressive captivity for the Lord's people, which are the Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, so this is Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, are upon the sinful kingdom. Right, America is that sinful kingdom. Okay, and that's why you're uh, also now the US, uh, the army, military, their government, they're also noticing more so-called ufo sightings okay they're they're reporting and um uh, looking into you know these reports of so-called ufos which they're the chariots of our lord okay and they're the ones that are constantly going back and forth and recording everything that's going on you know in that that wicked land okay everywhere okay so the Lord sees everything that goes on in that wicked place, okay? The Lord sees the oppression, he sees the wickedness and all the evil that's happening, okay? And there is a divine judgment that is going to take place in the near future, okay? Which we're seeing the signs of it drawing near, all right? It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay, so America is going to be put an uh, end to. Okay, America is going to be what the Bible describes as a lake of fire. Okay, because of all the, the, the missiles that are going to fall upon that land. Okay, so we know that it's going to be a completely uh, no-go zone. You know, if, if you want to, you know, put it like that. But you're going to have a remnant of Israelites that are going to be saved. That's why it says... He will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, right? Because you're going to have, um, you know, the elect. Okay, you're going to have 144,000 and one third elect that are going to be saved from that destruction. Okay. But that's, <laughs> they're going to be delivered to be taken from that land. Not to go back. America's going to be done. It's not going to be any more. Uh, America after that all right let's get the book of Isaiah 54 and verse 16 it says behold I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work and I have created the waster to destroy. All right. So this is talking about the nuclear missiles. The Lord, he's created that technology. He gave that information to these Edomites to put that uh, technology in the, the form of an ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missile. All right. That's what this is talking about, because it says uh, 
that he's created the Smith that blow off the coals. Now Smiths, right, they're known uh, to be involved in creating weapons. Okay? With metal, you know, um, that sort of work. But the Lord said he's created them, right? That bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. That's that missile, right? Those ICBM missiles. And I have created the waster to destroy because that's what they're designed to do. Okay, they're going to completely waste away and destroy anything that's in front of it. Okay, now you got missiles from all nations that are going to be launched over to, to America. Okay, Babylon. Okay, how do we know this? America is that sinful kingdom. America is that place of confusion. Right? Is that place of wickedness. Okay, when we go Revelations... Chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the great city. So lucky it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Okay, and the dead bodies talking about the Israelites, the Lord's people, okay, the chosen people, those that don't know the truth, don't know their heritage, don't know that they are the chosen people of the Lord. That they are part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. They're just in the land of America being oppressed and just, you know, uh, dry bones. You know, don't have the knowledge of who they are. All right. They're spiritually dead. All right. That's what that's talking about. All right. So it says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. That's how wicked that land is. Okay. Not only have they completely tried to uh, hide truth right the true image of our lord right they xed out his true image but that place is spiritually called sodom and egypt now sodom was known for wickedness okay sodomy right and they got taken out and destroyed by fire by the lord okay how much more america which is way more wicked this is the most wickedest time it's ever been ever okay and egypt is known as Egypt because of that captivity as well. Because the transatlantic slave trade, right? The hardcore bondage, the chattel slavery, right? The heavy um, oppressive system over there that has the Lord's people oppressed, right? And in bondage. So that's how we know that the Lord, he's got a problem with, um, um, with the US, right? America, right? That's because all of that wickedness. So the Lord is going to bring this heavy judgment upon it. The final judgment, right? The day of judgment. And it's going to be in the midst of World War Three. And those nukes, they're going to, you know, the ICBMs are going to fly. Right? And they're going to land and hit its target. Okay, this is Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, so whereas before uh, you would uh, have soldiers running into battle. All right, there'd be shouting. There'd be, you know, swords, you know, you know, all that noise. Okay, it'd be bloody. But this one is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. And that's going to talk about, um, that's, that's talking about the World War Three. Right, that's the war to end all wars. Right, the burning and the fuel of fire, right, the waste to destroy, right, the Lord that created the smith to blow the coals in the fire, is talking about this, okay. That's how this World War Three is going to be fought. It's going to be fought with these missiles, all right. And America is going to get the worst deal out of it because America is not going to be any more after, okay. So I'm going to close with this last scripture. Right, this is Second Peter's chapter 3. Actually, I can, I can get this one as well. Actually, this is Second Peter's chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow. Making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly.
Okay, so just like how Sodom, Gomorrah, you know, they were taken out because of those same uh, same sex acts and marriage and stuff like that that America is forward in as well. You know, we have examples of what happens to you know kingdoms and places that that continue in those acts. Right, we have examples. So why is now in America in this place, you know, this kingdom and you know this day and age any different? It's not different. Right. But this is going to be a time like never before. It's going to be even worse. Right. Because the Lord is going to really show his wrath and anger in these last days. All right. And make an example out of America. OK. America is that Sodom, man. Spiritually Sodom, Egypt, Babylon. OK. And he's going to get taken out. All right. So I'm going to close with this. Second Peter is free and ten. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. The Lord is going to return with an army of angels, okay, with chariots, lasers, all right, with more fire to add, okay, for the destruction of his enemies, all right, the wicked, uh, you know, e Edomites, you know, Babylon, America, these nations as well, they're going to get hit as well with missiles, all right. This is the day of, of the Lord, man, all right, his vengeance. And it's going to come to the surprise of everyone, except for the elect who are prophesying the Lord's coming and, and of these things. Okay, so it says, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. So this is Esau, heaven on earth. Okay, his system, his rulership is going to pass away when those nuclear uh, missiles, you know, rock America. Okay, and, and there's mushroom clouds popping up all, all over the place. All right, this is because and they show you in their movies, so we know that that's they got it from the scriptures. Okay, this is is prophecy, right? Said before it is gonna come to pass. This is the the word of the Lord, right? And this is the judgment that He's gonna bring, all right, upon those the wicked, His enemies, right? So it says the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So you're not going to miss it. That day, they're going to they're gonna see it. They're going to hear it. They're going to smell it. Okay, the burning. They're going to see all, all these um, cities being destroyed, man. The, the, you know, everything melting. All, right? all the elements, the people, you know, everything. All these things that people love so much, their cars and their houses. And it's all going to be turned to nothing. Okay, because that's the judgment for, for being wicked. All, right? all that wicked oppression and all that evil that has, that has happened, the, the Lord has to cleanse this earth with fire. Okay, as he once has done, well, he, well he's done many times. Okay. So it's all going to be burned up. Okay, that intense heat of those missiles the Lord has made is going to do their job. Okay. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right? Because the men of the Lord are going to be speaking these prophecies. They're going to be having this on their minds. They're going to be doing what they um, must to receive salvation, to be saved from this. Because there's going to be a new kingdom and, you know, that's going to come. The kingdom of heaven on the earth for the Israelites is going to follow after this. Okay. Verse 12 says, so looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, right? Which we're in the year 2021, right? Uh, hastening unto the coming day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? And we want to see this, we desire this, right? Because we know that that's when righteousness is going to be established on the earth forever, all right? And there's going to be peace on the earth after you know, a, a certain time, right? When the Israelites are back in power ruling over all the nations, okay? Verse 13 says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, right? All the blessings, the new covenant, all that which pertains unto the Israelites, starting with the elect, right? What the Lord have said, his word, his promise. We look for new heavens and a new earth, okay? A new heaven and a new earth, which means a refreshed earth. Okay, everything's going to be reset. All right, it's not going to be no more filth. It's, it's all going to be cleansed. 
No more evil. No more uh, pollution and filth. Okay, just the you know the establishment of of you know Yahabash Miyawashai and his commandments. Okay, and that's gonna bring peace because it says we look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right, that's that's what we we look forward to, man. That's what we want to see. Right, the commandments being fulfilled, a fair, just, you know, um, rulership. Right, starting with Yahabash Miyawashai. That's what. Is gonna come after this major destruction, all right? After this judgment, all right? So I'm gonna end it there. Uh, all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha, and to the hopeful elect. Uh, Lord willing, you were edified, all right? And um, yeah, man, we gotta look forward to salvation because this is gonna happen. But the elect, the Lord is gonna save, right? That remnant that believe and have faith in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? And continue seeking the Lord in, in these last days. So I'm going to end it down with that to the hopeful let Shalom.